Women are superheroes, am I right? I mean, we work, we collaborate, we strategize, we love, we cook, we clean. Our bodies can make babies, birth babies, and nourish babies. I mean, what? We are amazing. We can do it all. However, that's where the issue comes in because we can't do it all. Sometimes we just need to ask for help. But a lot of times women really struggle when it comes to asking for help. Either we don't wanna bother somebody else because we're thinking, oh, well, she works full time and she has a baby at home too. I don't wanna to have to bother her. Or maybe we think that we should come across like we have it all figured out. Or we feel ashamed that we can't do it all by ourselves. This Move Her series is all about, yes, ladies, let's trust God in all things, but man, let's do the dang thing as well. And today we're gonna to be talking about asking for help. You see, asking for help doesn't make you look weak or incompetent or unskilled. Instead, it makes you look like a human, relatable, authentic, genuine. And you know, God created us for relationships. When he created you, he had someone else in mind. You are the answer to someone's prayer and someone is the answer to your prayer. So we all need to be willing to help each other. I always say that as women, we are in desperate need of two things, and that is more Jesus and other women. So ladies, we desperately need each other and we desperately need to help each other. Personally, there is a time where I was in desperate need for some help, but I hadn't reached out to ask anybody. Our son was about two weeks old, so I was a brand new mom. And let's just say that becoming a new mom was way harder than I thought it was going to be. I was super sleep deprived. I didn't know what I was doing. And also I was right in the middle of postpartum depression and didn't even know it. So I was not in a good place. Well, that day I had a friend reach out to me just to check in and see how everything was going. Like, hey, your baby's two weeks old, how are you? Not gonna lie, a part of me wanted to say, oh, I'm doing great, I love motherhood. He sleeps all the time, he never cries, everything is wonderful. But obviously that would have been a lie. So I texted her back and I told her, you know, honestly, today is a really bad, hard day. I can't stop crying. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sleeping. I'm thinking weird thoughts. Like I'm just, I'm honestly in a really bad place today. So she texts me back and she's like, hey Sarah, I actually have a very flexible work schedule. I can come over and hold Pierce for an hour if you wanna take a nap this afternoon. Now again, a part of me didn't wanna bother her, right? I'm like, man, she works, she has a baby at home. I don't wanna bother her. But I was in desperate need for help, so I asked for it. And I was like, you know what, yes. Can you please come over and hold Pierce for an hour so I can sleep? She showed up that afternoon with a large pizza in hand and held my baby boy so I could take a nap. And I will never forget that. That touched my heart so much. And I just feel forever indebted to her. And she was such a good, friend to me and I'm so glad that I did ask for help and that she also reached out to check in on me. So ladies, your challenge this week is to do the dang thing. Either ask for help or reach out to help someone else.